Welcome to White Data Fabric. Today, let's explore how to generate synthetic data through Python code. Although our UI interface is fantastic, it is always great to have the flexibility of a code-based interface. And that's exactly what I will be showing you today. First, I need a data source. I have already two created, and here I have one that is small that I want to augment. I have around 500 records, and I want to export this data source inside of a code environment. And that's exactly what I'm going to do. I click Use in Labs, I'll copy this code snippet, and afterwards I'll jump into my lab environment. This is where I can explore and interact with the code interface. I've selected my ID of preference, which was Lab with a small preset. After all, my data set is not that big. And a Python bundle with YData, of course, so I can benefit the code SDK for YData features such as the synthesizers and also the data profiling. Jumping into my Jupyter Lab that was already created, I have here a very familiar environment with Jupyter Notebooks. As a data scientist myself, this is definitely the environment where I like to work the most. As you can see here, I already have my code snippet pasted. I can run this cell, and this cell, what we'll do is just collect my data, read my data, and afterwards profile it so I can understand which variables in an automated way are numerical and categorical, and for example, whether there are some warnings that I should be aware about uh, so I can automate the data preparation prior any process of synthesis. In this case, I won't be doing any data preparation, but for sure, and while um, my data source is being read and profiled, I'll be creating and adding the three lines of code that are required in order for you to train a synthesizer. First, I'll need to import my synthetic data generation class, which is very simple, and it will depend on your data type. In this case, as my data source um, is tabular, in a sense, it's the records are independent. There is no time dependency, so this is not the time series. I can just select my regular synthesizer. I'll just create a new synthetic data generator instance. I won't be uh, adding any configuration, but depending on the use case, whether it's for privacy or even for augmentation, I have some flexibility in terms of parameterization. Afterwards, and very similar to a scikit-learn interface, we can fit the synthesizer to the data set while providing as well the metadata information so the synthesizer can understand uh, how to process the variables, the numerical ones and the categoricals. While the synthesizer is being fit, uh, and because this data set is pretty small, I know this won't take too, too long, I'll be showing you as well the single line of code that you need in order to generate as many data records as you want. I'm just creating a new data set kind of object and I'll be um, assigning the new synthetic data that is going to be generated to that same uh, object. I'll just call the sample method, which also has some parameters, but in this case, I don't want to condition the generation, um, neither want to filter the, the outputs, so I'll just call the number of samples, which allow me to set the number of synthetic records that I want to generate from the previously trained synthesizer. In this case, I want 1,000. And then I already have my data source synthetic being created. As you can see, generate synthetic data with white data and our Python interface is that simple. Three lines of code and you have your synthesizer train, one line of code and you have your synthetic data generator. Thank you.